Now this is very fun. We're going to try to make our first mechanism uh, using the Katakuri book. And I'm Trish and this is Caprice. Hi Caprice. Hi. So this is the, the face. this is the mess o paper. We actually am giving you this after I cut out all the pieces. And uh, and we're so assembling this would be the, the face. box. The box and the the rod goes in there, and the can would go up and down. Yeah, up cool. Here. So I hope that works. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing they suggest doing is assembling the box. So we're gonna glue the box together, and then you bring a little sleeve for the cam, which is in this. Here. This is the in little the sleeve. One. Right. And it goes in here. So I guess we better glue those. To, you glue the those so that two have time to themselves. No, actually, it goes out. It goes out and it sticks on a piece of paper, which is a little. This piece of paper. No, no, no. This yeah. is the bottom. It's this one because you can see the. Little. Okay, right. So this piece of paper, and you can see the markings. And then this, I folded this in, but they should go out. So I'll fix that. it first and then we'll because I just want to shake it Okay. Good junk. Good junk. <laughs> now what 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 sort of thing could that be? Let's see. It could be the arms. You could have a body behind it and arms moving up and down, right? Where it's connected to one or both of the arms. Mm -hmm. You could have it be the entire body moving up and down. Or it's a heavy foot right, just stomping, tapping. On, stomping on grapes. Okay, okay, good. Or good, it good. could be chewing on something. Oh, a mouth, right? Wow. Oh. You could even put the oh, bottom wow. half and you could have the bottom half be the bottom half of the mouth. It's inside the mouth and then this is pushing the top half of the mouth uh -huh. open. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, or I'm going to try a praying mantis going up and coming down. Oh, <laughs> catching something. Come, catching so the bug something. is right here. Exactly. Okay, I like that. Okay. Um, or let's see what else. Somebody walking up and down stairs. Nice. Um, I think there's an infinite number of things. Well, yes, there is. There, so there is. So okay. anybody who's seeing this video has to write in their idea of what we should put on top. Oh, Caprice will help us. I to challenge that. you. <laughs> Do that again. I challenge you to come up with the perfect solution of what we put on top of this cam. And Caprice might just do that for you. And I'll make it for you. Yeah. And we'll come back. And we'll give it to you on video. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the penguin. And this one was made by one of the kids at the penguin build that we did. And we just grabbed something that could be stuck on top and to weight down the the rod. So here we are. Whoa! Stay steady, dear. It's going up, up and down. down. Our own version of Happy Feet. Up and down. So can you imagine a whole fleet of these? Maybe with the penguin a little bit bigger, more to size to fit the box. This is from the side where you can see how it's working. And his Caprice profile. Can, yeah. And then go back here so we can see the rotation. Inside? Yeah, I'm looking inside. And the cam nice. is. Again. And nice. once again, the cam is shaped like a paisley. So it goes smoothly, and then when it gets to that angle, it re restarts again yep. on the circle. Yep. Cool. So let's look at that again. Nice. And I'll get so, it moving while so you're talking. What this is, is a form of automata. I don't know if it's automata or automata. Is it tomato or tomato? Um, but Let's go. Oh, hang on. Uh, if you recall in the movie Hugo, there was an automaton. Well, in Japan also, they had um, their own version of automatons, and there are lots of these um, dolls that existed, and they did very elaborate um, things like um, serve tea, the tea serving automaton, automaton, 
is very interesting and they were mostly just powered by you know you crank it up and it sets it and then um, it goes through all of these sequences of actions the Hugo Automaton is um, a different version I think it was from a Swiss um, Swiss uh, clockmaker because the clockmakers in the old days um, they would do these uh, um, elaborate creations as their um, you know, their challenges, their personal artwork, and they took great pride in it. So in addition to making the their very regular clockwork, um, cuckoo clocks and whatever, they made some very cool um, uh, moving things. And uh, if you want to check out the Hugo Automaton, um, the inspiration was um, from an automaton at the Philadelphia Museum and I look up the exact name and put it on this video so you can see it and research that and you'll be pretty impressed. And the cam is and once again the cam is shaped like a paisley. So it goes smoothly, and then when it gets to that angle, it re restarts again yep. on the circle. Yep. Cool. So let's look at that again. Nice.